This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today, Dirge. Freaking Dirge. I... Okay, I'm not a big fan of the Coneheads per se, because as characters in the show, they were just so stupid, all of three of them. Uh, but this was my favorite uh, plane mode because of the wings. I really like the design of the wings on this plane. More than the turbine powered uh, version of uh, Trust. Uh, but Ramjet is a close second. Uh, I have classics for Ramjet. Well, my five year old now has classics Ramjet. Used to be my oldest, but uh, you know, you pass down your toys to your kid, uh, your younger brother, and uh, he's having a lot of fun with it. Uh, but Dirge, uh, I missed out on the Earth Rise. Everybody in Canada missed out on the two pack, and now you can get it for 275 bucks or something on some online store. And I think that's despicable. But that's just me. A lot of people are okay with scalping, and as long as people buy from scalpers, they're gonna keep scalping. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but before I show, so let's take a look at Dirge. I'm really happy. I mean, we've seen this mold a thousand times. This isn't a new. Uh, a new toy uh, or a new mold, uh, but I'm just really happy to have it. So before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. Also check out the uh, Who's Your Favorite Voice playlist, something new I'm doing, uh, comparing two characters, uh, basically who has the best voice, uh, depending on the iteration. Also I just want to remind everyone to check out DJC Collectible, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Ramjet, I have the creepy feeling we're being monitored. Alright, here we are with Dirge from the Legacy line, and the instructions are standard Hasbro stuff. You know, tell you where to put the null rays and, you know, what to do with the uh, null rays and alt mode. Like, we don't know. The box is really good. Love the wings that's why i like this guy more the wings so yeah nice uh, artwork unlike a lot of people i don't mind the screaming face you'll see in robot mode i like the uh cartoon accurate uh, null rays because i know the g1 toys came with bigger missiles for the cone heads and um i never had them so i i don't mind the i prefer the cartoon accurate head. and then you have a more oh that's actually a scene I don't recall it like yeah okay there used to be dinobots i didn't notice that there's new types of uh it's hot shot and the junkions and insecticons and i don't pay enough attention to boxes apparently uh, as mentioned an all race you know standard stuff of course hollow bits you know can't go wrong with hollow nest from asbro but the figure itself is wow, it's amazing. Love the color, like I thought, honestly, uh, I thought it was more Thundercracker blue, but the, when I really take a time to look at it, such a nice shade. Like to my eyes, and remember guys, I'm colorblind, this is n like marine blue, like near purple, but still you know, like really dark blue, I love it. Uh, I love the uh, the contrast with the cockpit, the black. You know, they could have painted the turbine a little bit. But... And then you have the legs, nice highlight. And I think those colors go well together. With the Decepticon logo. And of course, you know, the uh, you have like, I don't know, these kind of look like missiles, I guess. If you use your imagination. And that's, well, what... Uh, well, back in G1, we used a lot more of our, of our imagination to, you know, pretend that these characters were cartoon accurate. But I like the wings too. The, the, again, you have the, uh, the logos, like the black here on the intakes, and the screaming face. 
I don't mind it. You know, uh, Skywarp has it, other figures have it, and I really don't mind. I think it's Hauler. Yeah, Hauler has it. I don't mind. I, I like it. I it, I think it's different to have different head sculpt. Because uh, if it's just cone head with a different, uh, you know, shape cone, uh, not shape, but colored cone, it's the same face. Same with the Seekers, you know, all the Earthrise and Siege Seeker. They could have just had different uh, facial expression just to differentiate them a little more. But that's my opinion. All right. Well, let's equip him. I have a little QC issue. This one here, it seems that the hole isn't lined up properly. Like I have to really push it. Uh, but this one just slides right in, you know, so there you go. Uh, and the wings, the wing, I'm never sure, like, do I display it like that or peeled back a little bit? I always push them back. I think it looks a little better. Uh, but we're going to do some size comparison with Follow Screaming Face Skywarp, other Fellow Screaming Face Hauler, and Studio Series 86 Wheelie. But let's not forget Trust. And you can see these weird decals. These are the cartoon sloppy toy axe decals. I just want to see what it looks like. But these two together look really good. And I'm just missing Ramjet. Actually, my five-year-old uh, still has the, the classic Ramjet uh, from 2008, 2009 maybe. And, uh, you know, they don't scale that well together. But uh, I just can't wait to have my own uh, Ramjet. And now let me show you the alt mode. And here we are in plain mode, and he looks absolutely amazing. I love the color on this guy. Wow. Wow. I mean, sure, there's, you know, classic earth rise, a couple holes here that you can see through, but overall, you know, I know there's, you know, hole fillers and stuff like that that you could put anywhere to hide all the hollowness but I really don't mind uh, this overall plane mode what's lacking is a um, you know landing gear that could be a plus for this mold um, I don't know have something attached here pull it down I don't know so that's that's my only gripe with this but wow love this mode Let's do the uh, quick uh, size comparison. First with fellow season two character Astro Train, which is too big for this set, Siege Radbat, and Earthrise Trusts. And as you can see here, I've, I always put my Null Rays on Trust on the side because I refuse to put it in a spinning turbine. Makes no sense. But imagine this shot with Ramjet. I can't wait to have Ramjet. All right, but, you know, he, he's still my favorite, but just to have those three together is going to be amazing. And I really wish that they, uh, on June 22nd, uh, no, June 20th, uh, when they did the, the fan stream at Asbro, I really thought we were going to get the uh, uh, pipeline announcement of Ramjet, but nada. So, there's still hope. All right, so now let me put this guy back in robot mode. Evcon, the bounty hunter. Let's get out of here before he comes back to finish us off. And there you go. This is going to be my display for a while. And man, I'm really happy to... Thank you, Hasbro, for actually reissuing this figure. Like, that's... A lot of people bash Hasbro and complain about distribution, stuff like that. I'm one of them. Exclusive, stuff like that. I hate that. But they listened, they took the time, and they gave us a reissue, a uh, repackage. The only difference between this and the original is that this is uh, colored plastic instead of painted. So, And you know what? It works. It looks really good. So I'm really happy with this uh, purchase. Uh, once again, DJC Collectibles. Get your uh, discount code in a couple seconds. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember... Nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.